I am ultra excited. What's up, YouTube? It's BMAC. And if you like videos about tech reviews, product unboxings, and filmmaking and photography tutorials, make sure you smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. The day has come. This is probably one of the most exciting days we've had for the Apple Watch in the last several years. This is the first ever Apple Watch Ultra. I feel, I feel like we need a sound effect on my voice there. Ultra. And what better way to celebrate a new Apple Watch Ultra than with a product unboxing? So that's what we shall do right now. <clears throat> Quick look at the box. This is a very nice box. I know that sounds ridiculous. We're talking about a box here, but this is different than your usual Apple Watch box. It's a little bit more papery, if that makes sense. Complete, of course, with the engraved Apple Watch logo right there. Of course, you have more information on the back, but you don't care about what's on the box, you care about what's in the box. So we're gonna unbox this bad boy right about now. Look at that, how cool is that? Oh my gosh, you open it up and it's like almost like an optical illusion. This little packet of information matches this awesome mountain-esque artwork on the back there. This is gonna give you a little walkthrough of the different colors of bands and the different styles of bands that are specifically for the Apple Watch Ultra. We'll quickly skip through this. Of course, a lot of this you probably already know, how to swap out a band or how to actually start charging your Apple Watch Ultra, but this is giving a much more in-depth look at what the watch is all about, including the action button, that international orange action button, as Apple is calling it. And you can see here with a lot of different options, a lot of customizability, it makes sense that Apple is giving you this entire packet of information. <gasps> what is this right here? This is a cool little flap, okay. No Apple sticker, but I guess that's usually not a thing with Apple accessories, even though I consider the Apple Watch much more than just an accessory these days. But you will see, this is your safety and handling regulatory information right there, tucked away. But that is the packet of information. That is the beautiful artwork box. I honestly feel like I kind of want to frame this, as weird as that sounds. I actually might. But we shall move that out of the way. Take a closer look at the stars of the show. There are actually two stars of the show here because this band is completely new. And take a look at the artwork on this band box. That's it, that's kind of trippy. It's probably hard to tell on camera, but it looks almost like that's the band itself. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's like popping out at you. We have a little arrow right here to help us undo the box. Done. We shall turn this over. Some more information about how to attach the band and how to adjust it, but we're gonna take this out because... <gasps> There she is. But before we do that, here's your instructions, little sheet for instructions, safety information, all that little sheet that comes with it right there. Then here's your band. We shall carefully take this out. I like the fabric. I like the feel of it. Definitely like the look of it. I like this band. This might end up being my new favorite band. As much as I love to talk about the band, we really want to see the puppy itself. So uh, time to do that. The Apple Watch Ultra box, that is of course a little image of what the Apple Watch Ultra is gonna look like. And then on the back, you just of course again have IMEI, serial number information, but two little tabs that are gonna allow us to untab this thing. So let's get to untabbing. One, two, and now for the moment we've been waiting for, the first time ever Apple Watch Ultra reveal. <sighs> Apple Watch Ultra, oh my goodness. We're gonna take a closer look at that in just a second. Little subtlety here that I'm immediately noticing that I like in the unboxing experience. We usually see this designed by Apple in California on the little packet of information that we get in all of our Apple products. But you'll also see we have coordinates here. Very much in the style of what the Apple Watch Ultra is promising to be. A very nice touch from Apple right there. Also in this, this is actually not the packet of information. This is the Apple Watch Ultra charging cord. Closer look at that, you have this beautiful braided cable. This is something we're seeing a lot more with Apple products. We have this braided cable rather than just your typical kind of 
rubberized cable that you have here. I, I love this braided look and feel. Every, every cord should be like this in my opinion. And that is your three foot Apple Watch charger, your USB-C to magnetic little connection charger here. I love the braided cable. Uh, that makes it worth it already, almost. But now, a closer look at the baby itself. I want to see the baby. Ooh, that's heavy. Heavier than I was expecting it to be. We shall uncellophane it. Dang, that's thick. That's a thick boy right there. Wow, already immediately has a very rugged feel. It definitely feels like an ultra version of the Apple Watch. It definitely feels like material wise, component wise, because of this being pretty darn solid and pretty darn thick, but with that flat edge screen on the top. I'm liking that already. Already got fingerprints on it. Here's your first look at the Apple Watch Ultra. Apple, you know how to do it. You know how to do it. I'm gonna quickly slap this baby onto this band, figure out how to actually use this band and um, take it from there. <sighs> oh! And we're powering on. Okay, your first look at the Apple Watch Ultra with the green Alpine loop on my hand. Right here. This is what it looks like on my wrist. Not as big on the wrist as I was expecting. It's definitely a big boy. It's definitely noticeable. And you kind of feel the weight of it. Not as much as I probably was thinking based on me just holding it and feeling how heavy it was right there. So there's your look at the Apple Watch Ultra. There's your action button on the left part of the Apple Watch, which I think you could actually switch if you want. I'll probably do that. And then on the other side, we do have a side button complete with your digital crown accented by that orange ring as opposed to red like we usually have with cellular. But time to set this baby up and I'm gonna do it for you at the snap of a finger. <clears throat> it's set up. The Apple Watch Ultra being turned on and used for the first time. Look at all the information on that watch face. That is absolutely wild. I don't even know where to begin to start using this Apple Watch Ultra to actually be able to put it to the test so I could review it but I'm gonna do it anyway. But if you wanna make sure that you don't miss that review video on the Apple Watch Ultra when it drops, don't forget to smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. And of course, if you're interested in learning more about the Apple Watch Ultra or just to snag one of these beasts of a smartwatch for yourself, you could of course always head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash awultra. I literally don't know what to do first. Should I go scuba diving? Should I go diving, swimming? Should I go hiking? Should I purposefully get myself lost to try to get myself unlost? Skydiving? No, we're not going skydiving, but maybe I'll have to. I'll see you guys in my next video. More that I think about it, skydiving's a definite no-go. I don't think the Apple Watch Ultra could prevent you from actually passing out before you start your descent. That's exactly what would happen.